Hey guys, this is Michelle. Today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Luma Modify, one of our latest video to video model integration. Luma Modify is a model that preserves full body motion. You could use it to restyle or retexture any video. Some use cases would be turning live action into CG or stylized animation, swapping or adding props, changing outfits, environments, or just the overall aesthetic. In this video, I will walk you through this super bite-sized workflow that I created. But before jumping into the workflow, I want to explain some very specific parameters unique to this Luma Modify model. There are three different modes related to motion controls. There's Adhere, Flex, and Reimagine. If you use Adhere, your output should be fairly close to the source video. Adhere is very ideal for subtle enhancement, minor retexturing, or just applying light stylistic filter without drastically altering the original content. The second parameter is prompt strength. Consider we have in total three inputs that can go into this video to video model. There's the prompt that goes into the video block, also the source video with the motion. And then there's an image input that's gonna serve as the starting frame, which is the first frame of the generated video. For the prompt strength parameter, closer the generated video would be following the source video. So if you dial the prompt strength to three, the generated video should have a high fidelity to the original source video. There's also flex and imagine. For flex, the output flexibly adheres somewhat to the shapes and character and details of the source video. And then there's imagine. The output of imagine adheres much more loosely to the source video. This setting is best for fundamentally changing the world and style to something entirely new, even transforming the characters or objects into completely different forms. For this video, I'm going to focus on showing you how to use Adhere. I have this source video, which is a mannequin falling. I want to turn this into a realistic person falling from the sky. This video would function as my source motion video where I'm extracting the motion from this mannequin and applying to another subject or character that I want to generate the video with. As you can see, the motion of the final video adheres very closely to the motion of the source video, which is this one. That is because I selected the adhere mode while dialing the prompt strength to one. Since we need a starting frame for our final video, I have here the first frame of the source motion video as an image block in our editor. And I plan to manipulate it with models that are best used to extract very high fidelity edges of the subject. Here, I chose Flex Kenny because Kenny uses edge detection to extract the outlines and structure of an image. And you can see the generated image has an almost perfect outline and fidelity to the original image. I wanted to get this level of accuracy because this image is going to be serving as the starting frame, the first frame of my final video. After using Flux Kenny to recreate the actual edges of the subject, I also experimented with Flux Step. I picked my favorite from the generations and used GPT image to make some local edits. For example, I want to take out the floor and actually make this person look like he's in the sky. And here I am, I got two very nice generations that I think would serve as a perfect first frame for this source motion video. The last step is to feed in the motion as the source video and this image as the first frame of the final video. Here are all my results and I'm pretty happy with the motion consistency of the final videos comparing to the source video. And yeah, this is how you would use Luma Modify to transfer any kind of video with motion using adhere mode.